Oh, hello everyone. It's me, Calzone. It was that event again, Safari Week. So, I tracked down the current leader of that operation. Absol Blogs Pokemon. He looks a little bit something like this. I think he looks kind of silly if you ask me. No life's like him. We're doing close to 100,000 encounters in these zones and barely paying the entrance fees for it. So, I, Calzone, went undercover in the Safari Zone, and the video you're about to watch is a compilation of all the shinies that this leader, Absol Blog's Pokemon, found. It was not easy getting this footage, starting with some footage that happened a little bit before Safari Week, when Absol Blog's Pokemon himself was filming the news story that was about me. Random shiny gloom. What? <laughs> I was walking to the Safari Zone to film the Safari Week intro. I thought it looked a little bit different. What the heck, man? Let's see, do I have any cool Pokeballs? Or Peatball? Dude, what? <laughs> Same day as Sinistee, by the way. Same day as Sinistee. What the heck, man? Let me do another encounter just to show you. This this is insane. No cheating device. Gosh. I really just found a random shiny gloom on the way to the freaking safari zone. I was just filming the safari week intro skit. Dude, it went straight to the shiny box too. Dude, what? It is gentle. Let's check this thing out real quick. It's cool to have a non-safari ball one in this game now. Normal line noon. Shiny gloom. So going into the actual Safari Week this year, it looks like this menace, Matt, went into primarily the Kanto Safari Zone in Fire Red Leaf Green and the Sinnoh Great Marsh in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Let's go into all of his shinies for the week, starting with this one that appeared just after midnight as the event started. Is there even an ISHC this year? I don't know if there is. <laughs> it's, it's barely a thing at this point. Like, I think the last couple ones that have been held have been held completely within, like, the ISHC Discord server. Like, there aren't even, like, announcements about it outside of it. Like, it just kind of happens. And occasionally people are like, hey, who are you teaming with for ISHC? And Shiny Hoot Hoot! My first Grey Marsh Shiny in uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl after 11-10 encounters. And this is my first Shiny of Safari Week. I was testing out the kind of crazy setup I got going on right now with nine games in total. I don't know if I'm going to be hunting this way the whole week. It's kind of over the top. But uh, see if we can catch this uh, little, little owl, this little round owl. Going to toss the first ball. Three shake, caught it. Look at this thing fly. I'm so impressed with it. Uh, I named this Hoot Hoot Rowlet because let's face it, this is the closest thing we can possibly get to a Rowlet in this game and she's adamant. All right, let's check out this Rowlet in battle. Whoa, face encounter. Normal Weasel. Guess I gotta play Orberg City. Shiny Rowlet. Sick. Hey y'all, Calzone. Coming at you from the Hisui region. Introducing the next shiny map found. It was a Paris. These things are a lot meaner than I thought. Oh no. Oh <laughs> Yeah, and an original Diamond and Pearl, I don't know if I recommend Sweet Scent as much. Sweet Scent is good in the remakes because it skips the animation every time you use it. In the originals, there's a long animation, so I suggest just using White Flute, Illuminate, and, you know, running out the steps every reset. Much faster that way. 
Hellion, thanks for the Prime. Appreciate that. And Hohenheim, you, you found only Mango? What if they're doing that? What if, like, they're just releasing, like, version exclusives Taco Bell flavors? And that's a shiny Paris! They're just releasing, like, version exclusives Taco Bell flavors. And that's a shiny Paris! Yellow mushrooms. All right, first ball. Caring Paris. Let's see if she cares. Stayed. Ball number two. Let's go Steeny, fellow grass type. One shake, two shake. Broke out. Stayed. So caring. Ball number three. One. Broke out. Stayed. <laughs> She's putting up a, or he's putting up a fight. Come on, little mushroom guy. Caught it. <laughs> there we go. Care for caring Paris. Oh, it's holding a tiny mushroom. Thank you. Oh, I'm, so, I'm glad you care for me like that, Paris. Really appreciate that. All right, let's check this out in battle. Hero. Caring Paris. Beware the forest mushrooms. Sassy, by the way. Now here's the next shiny that Matt found. Two days later, after over 20,000 encounters on a pretty long drought. Shiny Nidoran! Yeah! My first Nidoran male! Shiny Nidoran! Yeah! My first Nidoran male! It's on the, uh, it's on the Spanish game, too! 21,822 encounters. Man, what a long, long phase. I wonder if I'll have any longer phases. Alright, let's see if we catch it. Blue guy. Uh, let's see. Quejada Stink? Ball. You saw Safari Ball. One. Dos. Okay. I'm gonna count in Spanish. Zero. It stayed. Uno. Dos. Stayed. <laughs> Putting up a fight like the Paris, man. It is level 30. Trace, catch. Yeah. We caught the Nidoran. All right, do I read the Spanish Pokedex entry? I'll, I'll spare you all that for right now. It is worth nine pesos, though, I, I must say. It's worth nine kilograms worth of pesos. This thing is super, super, super uh, expensive. Random spark of inspiration. I think Clayton is it's gonna be its name. Normal eradicate. Clayton. And it's nature. That's naive. Sweet. So I've heard rumors of a special luck power-up that this Absol Blogs Pokemon guy gets sometimes. And uh, that is the power of Anime Night. He manages to find so many shinies while watching anime that it's kind of crazy. Um, here's here's the power of Anime Night at work here in Safari Week from my observations. Oh, that's a shiny Nidoran. Oh, that's a shiny Nidoran. Nice. 
2,313. Anime Night strikes again. Number four for Safari Week. Throw a ball. I'm not zoomed in on this at all. Hold on. Close up. It stayed after breaking out. Two shakes. Ball. One shake. Two shake. Three shake. Count. Oh, it broke out. Stayed, though. Next ball. Three shake. Fake. I, I was in the middle of saying caught as it broke out there. Broke out instantly. Stayed. Dang, this thing's putting up a fight. Okay, three shake. Caught. Nice. Four for four right now. I was watching Kaguya-sama, so I'm gonna just name this Kaguya. Hey, it's me, Matt, and not Calzone, and I feel like I need to introduce this next shiny because of how unique it is. So on my Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl games, one of my switches is still on the basically unfinished Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl version 1.0, which is full of all sorts of strange glitches, like Pokemon's names not displaying in battle the second you beat the game, a lack of cutscenes in many situations, and the trainer battle music playing instead of the wild battle music in the Great Marsh, which I thought was funny enough to try and hunt on for Safari Week. But I got a little bit more than I bargained for with this. The trainer battle music playing is one thing, but the other glitch that happened with this shiny is completely different, and I wasn't aware of it personally before it happened. Here's the crazy fifth shiny of Safari Week. How early can you see it in Legends? Is it like right after you join the Survey Corps? 16 minute reset, that is insane. Do you have to go through the catching tutorial and stuff first? Jeez. I saw some, oh, it's when you get your starter. I saw someone get 08192 as an ID once. I have N's ID in one of my uh, sapphires. I have 0002. But my name is Anime. <laughs> and that's a shiny blue barrel! Anime! Sick! Wait, did it not even sparkle? Did that thing not sparkle? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that has me paranoid now about things I previously encountered on this file. That thing did not sparkle, but that's 100% a shiny blue barrel. It's, yeah, it's 1.0. I didn't realize 1.0 did that. <laughs> we got the trainer battle music playing right now, though. So weird. <laughs> I've definitely found shinies before in 1.0, and they sparkled in the past, but not in the marsh. All right, we're going to catch this and the whooper, or we're going to try and catch it. Let's see. One shake, two shake, three shake. Catch! Double catch! <laughs> so crazy, man. What the heck? <laughs> no sparkle for you. Let's look at our uh, uh, summary here. It is hasty. Yeah, don't be hasty. Uh, that is so wild, man. I'm gonna have to be really careful now in this 1.0 game. Normal Bweasel. Shiny Big Barrel. And now it sparkles. So crazy. <laughs> yeah, who, who cares about the square and star sparkles and you can hunt a no sparkle. For these next three shinies, I actually hunted them outside of the safari zone. Because in order to hunt in the safari zone in the game that I was playing, you sort of have to travel pretty far. Oh, shiny Meltan on the very last one of the box. Since they do those Pokemon Go Safari Zone events in places like Singapore and Spain. Oh, ho, Shiny Meltan! Shiny Meltan, live! Oh, ho, another one! Two in one box! Two in one box, baby! But this next Shiny was pretty crazy because it happened at the exact same time as another Shiny on the stream I was watching. From a Shiny Hunter who had really bad luck this Safari week. I hope you find more Shinies next time, dude. Oh, Dallas just got a Parasect. That's four in one day for him. Two days in a row. 
It's been like between it's it's been like his average is around like two thousand right now. He had like a thirteen K phase at the first, and then he's just been popping off ever since. Oh, it's Shiny Nidorito! No way! I'm, I'm literally watching this pre market catch Ketra Shiny Parasect right now, or attempt to. Shiny Nidorito appears, 2786 encounters. Wait, let's watch his capture. It fled first ball. All right, let's see what happens with my Nidorito now. Failed two of these so far. I caught a Nidoran male for the first time this year. So let's see if Nidorino follows suit and actually gets in the ball. I'm gonna change my gamer LEDs to blue for this to, to make the, the environment feel more accommodating for it. I did this last year as well and then it fled. So if it does it again, this thing is just an ingrate and I don't wanna catch it anyway. Um, let's see what happens. First ball. It's on the Spanish game, so I'll count in Spanish. Zero. Fled. <laughs> <laughs> no shake. Bye-bye, <laughs> Nidorino. I guess, I guess I won't be changing the color to blue for you anymore. So normally I like to do these instant replays with the camera up close immediately after the shiny appears, but it took so long for me to notice this Nidorino that I'm just going to use it as the transition to the next shiny instead, which also took pretty long to find. Oh, it's shiny Nidorino! How do I find Riolu all the time in the top left corner? Uh, level 46 repel trick during the day with exactly four uh, peak blocks. No, four forest blocks and ten peak blocks. Daytime hours only, so after 8 p.m., there will be more things. Shiny Psyduck! Shiny Psyduck! Blue guy! Yeah! Sick! Alright, I gotta get the audio going for this. In order to adjust the audio, I had to get up and go into the next room because that's where my switches and multi-viewer were. I got a 25-foot HDMI cable so I could do this, and I still pressed the audio button wrong, so this capture is all muted. Let's uh, try and catch this. Let's see if it happens. Ball. Bring him a blue Taki? Aw, oh, hold on. I should've. It broke out. Is it too soon? Aw, oh, I should've got the blue Takis. Hold on. I literally bought these today. These weird blue heat Takis, they're so weird looking. I should have taken it out and tried to entice the Psyduck with a chip. Quieres? After failing this blue duck, I was really curious to see if the blue heat chips would have made a difference. So I decided to instantly find another blue duck by inverting the colors on my Switch. Blue Psyduck, we reclaimed it, let's go! Oh wait, it didn't sparkle, maybe that game's on 1.0. I guess, uh, let's do the bait strat. After that very real and not theatrical at all rage quit, I went to the park to clear my head and look for more blue ducks. None of these seem to be blue, sadly. Guess I'll have to reclaim the side duck somewhere else. Then I droughted for a while before my next shiny. I slowly lost my sanity and the ability to speak. Oh, sextuple, sextuple Rhyhorn, Rhyhorn, finally. Get off me island. I don't know how he was Get doing. off me island. Shiny Rhyhorn! Oh. Shiny Rhyhorn! Oh. Yeah! Get off the island! Dude. 24,444 encounters. Oh my gosh, man. My longest safari phase this week. Dude, it's on the orange SP again. This 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 game keeps getting shinies. You got right. I got Rycorn. Rycorn is in the building. 
All right, I'm going to turn on the light to get a picture of this guy. This woman, I'm sorry. Female corn. All right, I have not caught a Rhyhorn yet. I'm 0 for 2 on catching them. Let's toss a ball. One, two, broke out. Stayed. All right, ball two. Ball number two. Gonna tie my shoe. I'm not wearing shoes. I won't do a foot reveal. It broke out and it fled. Oh, no. <laughs> Get off me island. I have two Claydol now. Claydol was hard to find for me, but I, I pulled like three Team Magma's ground on in one box. Oh yeah, the Reshiram and Zekrom are cool. The full arts. I don't have a uh, Tapu Lele. And I don't have the Shining Magikarp. That one's the that's one that I've wanted to get. I've got a good number of uh, Lux Ray as well, I think. The level X. Shiny Nidorino! As well, I think. The level X. Shiny Nidorino! 8137! Yo, it's back! Right next to a Nidorina, too, and it's on a different game. One that hasn't yielded a shiny yet. Alright, so let's throw our first ball. This is on my file named Huh? One. Broke out. Stayed. Oh, and I got battle animations on because it's Japanese and I need those to comprehend. One shake, two shake, broke out. Stayed. Oh yeah, look at that wobble. Beautiful wobble. One shake, two shake, broke out. <laughs> This is Mr. Two Shakes right here. He shakes twice when he does like th this too. Immediate breakout. But stayed. Turn five. He was Mr. No Shakes that time. He, he didn't like that nickname. Mr. Two Shakes, Mr. Three Shakes, breakout. Stayed. <laughs> this guy's put up a fight. Mr. Three Shakes. One shake, two shake, three shake. Caught it, yeah! Finally got a Nidorino. And might I note, I did not change the background LED lighting this time on my desk. I failed the past two Nidorino because of that. I, I tried to make it a more accommodating dark blue like this both times. And uh, both times, they, they did not like that. I've learned my lesson. Do not change your lights for a Nidorino. I'm gonna name it Mr. Two which is like also a One Piece reference, but it's, it's actually Mr. Two Shakes in this case. All right, nature guesses. Bold. All right, it's Japanese. Japanese nature. Shiny Nidorino. So this 10th shiny was super cool. Literally my first set of encounters in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl of the entire day yielded a shiny. Shiny Shroomish! First encounter of the day! First encounter of the day! <laughs> Yo! 4014! On my Brilliant Diamond! Or, that's Shining Pearl, actually. Dude, I had just hit record. Absolutely insane. That's one of my targets! Dude, that's so sick. Third one on this Shining Pearl file. My Brilliant Diamond on the right is absolutely worthless. 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 <laughs> shiny? Yeah, I got a shiny shroomish first encounter of the day. <gasps> nice, dude. So I'm about to throw the first ball. You used a safari ball. Let's see. One shake, two shake, broke out. And it fled. There it goes. Man. Watching Alpha Zapdos' 1,000 subscriber special. 
Is it my recommended? Wow. Go Ian. Live Shine Encanto starter after 26,005. But which one was it? About to oh. find out. Spoilers. January of 2013. What a throwback. Shiny Psyduck! It's back! Whoa. It's back! The oh blue God. duck is back, dude! Same game as the Shroomish. 6,027. Oh, I'm gonna press the screenshot button. Yeah! I got, got audio of the sparkles now. All right, <laughs> Shining Pearl is popping off today. That's number 11 of Safari Week for me. And it's still Sunday, it's 9.47 p.m. right now, so it is still Safari Week, no overtime yet. All right, let's catch this guy, or try to. First one got away from me. Let's see what the second one thinks. Safari Ball. One shake. Two shake, three shake, it broke out. No. It's watching carefully. All right. It really is, look at that blank stare that it's got. It's not even blinking, it is unflinching. I'm staring back, my character, it's it's gone, it's, it's doing at least four camera shots in a row of my character staring out. And the Psyduck just blinked, it just lost the staring contest. Getting the ball, one. Two, three, won the staring contest. Caught it. Let's go. No. <laughs> reclaim. That was a nice, quick reclaim. They name it dog. Lonely, like spicy food. It loves to eat. I didn't even offer it a blue taki. Okay, it likes please. spicy food. Oh shoot! I'm going to the kitchen right now before I show this off in battle. Before I send this out, I got the Takis Blue Heat in my hand. Ooh, face encounter. It's Mesprit! <laughs> what? <laughs> Regular Mesprit. Shiny Psyduck. And those are the 11 that I found during Safari Week. But I decided to do one overtime phase to find one more thing in Fire Red Leaf Green. Here's what I found. Oh, this is only the tip of the iceberg. Shiny execute! Oh, this is only the tip of the iceberg. Shiny execute! Dude, this game has been popping off. This game has been going crazy. I think this is the fourth shiny on this file for this Safari week. How? Like, this game, this game, and I think the SpongeBob, the minion or the Bob for today, have found nothing in like a hundred thousand encounters across all the games. Boom. Immediate breakout. And immediate flee. <laughs> nice and quick. Well, let's do one more encounter on this file. Not too crazy of a loss, I already do have one. But uh, yeah. And now let's look at our third gen shinies that we managed to catch on the GameCube. All right, we're in Pokemon XD on the old CRT TV right now. Normally I've recorded this with a capture card, but I just thought it would be neat to record it with my camera this time for this video. First of all, I wanna point out that there's a unique summary screen uh, in Pokemon XD for shinies. And if you notice, Shinies have a golden name. Super cool. So let's look at all of our Safari wins now. On the, uh, the old screen. You know, it's not really the big screen. It's more of like the old screen. All right, Mr. Two, the Nidorino. Look how green that ear is. Normal Larvitar. Uh, That'll make more sense in the future with the hunt that I'm planning. 
I like how the whole ground shakes when you withdraw a Pokemon. All right, there's Nidorian, female. Um, looks a lot pinker than she does in the game. She's so pink. Pink because girl. And after pink because girl, we have blue because boy. Dude, that guy's like shaking his butt. Clayton. <laughs> the way he gets knocked over. All right, and finally, the Caring Paris. That looks absolutely disgusting in this game. The Fire Red Leaf Green Sprite is so much better. <laughs> Well, that's all the information that I gathered for this year's Safari Week. Looking forward to next June, where I can maybe get one step closer to putting a stop to this menace. Thanks so much for watching, and Oddish and I will see you next time. Be sure to eat lots of chips.